So with the recent news that the Western release of Lost Ark has been delayed to early 2022 and confirmation that closed beta is only lasting from November 4th to 9th this year, I've decided to hop into the Russian client to scratch my Lost Ark itch. This video will guide you through creating your Russian email account, the My Games account attached to it, download the launcher and the Lost Ark client, set up your VPN and apply the English translation patch to the game. Without further ado, let's get to it. Head to la.mail.ru forward slash download and download the My Games launcher. Every link I mentioned in the video will also be in the description for easy clicking. You can change the language at the top right if you need to. Follow the installation process through. Once it has completed the initial install, it will begin to download Lost Ark automatically. Stay on this window and click the cog at the top right. Select the bottom option from the list on the left hand side and change your language as needed with the box at the top right. Next, head to la.mail.ru and use Google Chrome to auto translate from Russian to your language. Click register now at the top right, which will open up the My Games login and sign up window. Now this will load automatically into Russian by default and Google Translate doesn't seem to work, so click the top left to change language. At the bottom you can see the option to sign up with another service such as Twitch, but click the more button and then click on the at symbol to create your Russian email account and sign up to the My Game service with it, killing two birds with one stone. Click create account on the right, fill out the information as needed and make sure you use a valid phone number as this will be used to authenticate your account in a moment. Complete the authentication process, allow access and accept terms and conditions and you're good to go. So now with your accounts created and the Lost Start game downloading, it's time to set up your VPN. For now, I'm gonna be using the trial for exit lag as it seems to be the most popular choice in the community and it also allows you to target specific applications to apply the VPN to, meaning it won't interfere with any other apps that are running on your machine. So click free trial to sign up for three days worth of VPN or use my affiliate link in the description. Fill out the usual account setup details and download the Exit Lag app. Once installed, you'll need to restart your PC and after that, start the app and log in. Use the search bar on the left to find the Lost Ark RU client and the My Games Game Center app. Click these and make sure you choose the Moscow connection with the lowest ping and hit apply route. Do this for both apps and remember that you need to click the toggle at the top left to initiate the VPN on these apps that you've selected the routes for before you launch the apps. Finally, head to lostarkdatabase.com forward slash English hyphen patch and scroll down to the section for downloading the English patch for Russian client. Download, extract, and run the LAO translation.exe as administrator. The first time you run it, I'll ask you to update. Do that, and then once complete, check the auto detect install location folder for Lost Ark is correct. Then click English at the top right. This will kick off downloading and applying the English translation patch. Make sure the tick box for restore original on close at the bottom left is selected. Minimize the launcher and click play on Lost Ark from the My Games app and then Lost Ark will launch with everything translated to English. So every time you want to play this client of Lost Ark, make sure you run the English patch again and that your VPN is rooting your My Games app and the Lost Ark game client through Russia before you launch the My Games app and then click play on Lost Ark. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and of course subscribe to help the channel grow as we head towards an exciting future with Lost Ark. Good luck in your adventures and I'll see you next time.